All right, today is the day and we are working on the monocoque tub again. And if you remember, we added some stiffeners into the side door seals. Well, this episode, we're taking a look at um, doubling that up, add a little contour so we can add some weather stripping door seals and gonna add a lot of strength coming up pretty soon because this is gonna kind of the point prepping to add the place for some more longer on stiffeners, some unidirectional fibers along those side seals. Anyway, let's go take a look and see what we did. Now to do this, we need to make a little temporary mold to uh, do some expanding foam. And to keep that foam from sticking, I'm gonna put some packing tape on top of this cardboard and that'll keep that foam from sticking. It will not stick to the tape, but it does stick to the cardboard. Anyway, this is just gonna be a rough mold. Just loosely put into place to hold the foam as it is It's expanding. So some weights on this inside piece, some tape on the outside, and that cavity is ready to fill. Now the trick with this foam is waiting till the last moment before it starts to expand because you want it runny enough to uh, fill the little nooks and crannies, but not so much that it runs out through our loose cardboard mold. And here it goes starting to fill. Now I'm going to do this in a couple of lifts because I don't want to fill this whole thing to volume. I actually want it to be much taller on this end here. We're going to try to keep filling until it reaches that line that you can see marked on that bulkhead. Of course, like I said, uh, too runny, it runs down the hill. Too much expanding, it stays stuck in your cup. It's kind of lumpy but we seem to be getting close to that line. I say I don't want to use too much foam. Save what we can. Nice thing about this expanding foam, it cures pretty rapidly. You can go ahead and strip the molds right away. Once that's out, start the trimming process. Start off with this sawzall, just get some rough cutting going on. But then I'm gonna switch to this uh, Rayova saw, which is uh, much easier to control. Nice also that it can cut right up against the bulkhead fiberglass without uh, going through and breaking all the fibers. All well, that lamination is already done. You can also trim right up close to the edge. Cut some contours if you need to as a flexible blade. We'll get it all roughed in really nicely with this Rayoba saw. And once it's roughed in, heavy rasp. Got the vacuum there to suck up all the dust. That's one thing about working this foam, it is kind of a gritty stuff that sticks. Now that basically those long strengtheners are in in the foam. Gonna make a template for this area here. We're just going to call it the strike plate. That's where the door is going to come down and latch against. But I'm going to make a piece of uh, foam core fit right in there. First off, make a template. Once that template fits, transfer it to the foam core board. Trial fit inside here, but we don't want to make it permanent yet because we need to make another template. And that's going to be one for another piece of foam that comes on the outside that makes our seal. It's going to be about three quarters of an inch smaller than the other one. Anyway, trim it down that three quarters and set it aside while we go back and bond that foam core piece into place. And I want to get a lot of resin back behind this flange so that, that foam core bonds to the back side there. And I'm going to prop it in place. You can't see here, but there's some sticks that uh, hold it tight against that flange. We're going to go ahead and put some fiberglass surface over the top and the back edge. But on this front edge, we want to make sure that we don't fiberglass right to the edge because we have to have room for our door to come down, which we know is gonna have a real nice tight gap. Now back to that next foam core, go into this uh, polyurethane foam, this three quarter stuff that we've been using for our bulkheads. Once I've got that thing cut out, I'm going to take and sand it a real nice edge to it 
and put a radius edge on the outside surface. Now you can't really tell in these video, but that surface of that striker plate area is got a little of a curve to it. So we're going to put a score mark in this thing and put a break in it so that it will fit along that piece. There we go. It fits. Now here you see it's bonded in place and the, that score line filled, but to transition between that strike plate area and the door seal, we're going to put a little more foam in this corner here, a little paper and tape mold foams up and then back to our Ryoba saw, trim this down. Always being careful that we have no undercuts for that door to come down and lock on and not have any way to open the door. So we've got our curve on the outside of our door seal, and then it's going to come down against that angle that we see there, the transition of that striker plate and that curve that we're adding in. And again, roughing it out with the saw. Finishing off with the rasp. And now once we got this whole thing roughed in nice squarely, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a cut in this thing for the weather seal to uh, align with. Now when the door comes down, it will have a rubber gasket or weather seal that's gonna come down and drop into this groove that we're creating now. So cutting about three quarter by three quarter groove all the way along the door seal here. And once that's cut in, time to get to the finishing of this thing. The thing we love to do is sand. So after we get the whole thing sanded smooth and flat, I'm gonna go ahead and put radiuses on all these corners, make it so that our uh, fiberglass can make those round transitions. Also, of course, to make it nice and smooth and beautiful. Once it's all sanded, we need to make a way to get the fiberglass to bond to this because the fiberglass has a hard time sticking to this foam. Once you break the cells open and you try to put fiberglass on it, the resin usually is pulled off into the broken open cells and kind of starves the fiberglass. So we make up a slurry of micro balloons and epoxy resin, coat that thing nice and well, smear it in there like butter. Once it's all coated, take our squeegee, smooth it out the best we can so we don't have much to sand. Because of course, that's what we get to do again is sand again. Anyway, anywhere there's a surface of a sanded urethane resin, the expanding foam, we've got a coat with this slurry, smooth it out. One thing though, with that microspheres in that epoxy makes a nice sanding surface as well. It does sand fairly easily. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get to knock down all the high spots. Makes a very nice surface to fiberglass against. And once we've got it all sanded, it is time to uh, coat the whole thing in uh, kind of our foundation layer of fiberglass. So this nice twill weave conforms beautifully around those radiuses. Once we get that whole thing coated with one layer, it'll be time to go back in another episode and start putting in all of our strength. So with that done, I also had the opportunity to trim up this tub, get a little more beautiful. On all these, uh, flanged areas where I've built up enough layers to have it as thick as I need it. It's time to trim off all that raggedy edge. Now these uh, oscillating tools, these oscillating saws are, in my opinion, one of the better inventions of uh, my day. And in this application, it works beautifully.
as you can tell, pretty compound uh, curve to be making in a recess. I suppose a saber saw might have been kind of difficult. Saw's all a little too rugged. This tool seems to work beautifully. And the last trim around the door here. Once this is uh, trimmed out, one day we will be building a little rain tray, a rain gutter, a little bond underneath here. But trimmed up nicely, clean this thing up. Well, there you go. We're advancing along on the monocoque tub. And if you are new to these videos and you did not see the previous episode where we talked about that stiffener in the side rails there, I'm going to go ahead and put a link up here so you can go back and take a look at that video. Um, put another link here to another video that just shows you some more of uh, laminations and the work on the monocoque tub. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you come back and see us again. Thanks for stopping by.